So there I was, merrily doing me transfers, working out what to spend my four million pounds on. And then I got a bid for a certain goalkeeper from RB Leipzig for 42 million pounds, which is kind of roughly what I spent on him. And I just stared at it for ages. I just stared at that figure and was like, <clears throat> what could I do with that sort of money? Obviously, I don't need to replace the goalkeeper, but Silver Rio's left, so we needed somebody on the left-hand side. I could strengthen the midfield because we're going to lose Francisco. And then I turned it down because I think it's about committing to the bit. Essentially, we've signed. I've signed this goalkeeper, and he's he's staying. Okay, he's not fucking leaving. Okay, he is staying until we have to sell him. And then bad things happened after that with other players. It's not gone great. Got to be honest, it's not gone great. <music> Greetings and salutations, my friends, or welcome back, one and all. So, so, things have happened. We're about to play some European football. Let's whiz through it, okay? So, uh, we didn't sign anybody. This is the end of last season. Um, it's got worse. I knew Francisco was leaving, but he's gone to Man United. I did. <laughs> this is the most Man United thing ever. It's fair play to him, to be fair. I thought, well... You know, he's 19 years old. He's probably not going to go in their squad. How about I try and loan him back? So I tried to loan him back. How much? I don't know how much he's... Man, Man United... 20, of course, they were overpaying him. Uh, 26 grand a week. Um, and I was like... I, I, you know, I can't pay that. But I, I didn't know that at the time. I thought I'd go in for a bid. So not only did they want all of the 26 grand a week, they wanted me to pay £3.7 million pounds a month for the... Joy of loaning him. So, needless to say, uh, not doing that. That's ridiculous. Um, also, uh, kalila has gone for 400k. Like, he's he's fine. Like, he was fine. But he's, he's getting on a bit. He's 28. And, you know, he's ancient. Uh, and also, he was on quite big, like, six and a half grand a week. And I've got another right back that's, like, very similar level. But he's a lot cheaper and a couple of years, few years younger. So, I thought, cash in on him. Francisco went to Man United. Okay. <coughs> we've got five million to spend. What do we do? So, started working on it. Didn't I start wheeling, de wheeling, dealing? We've also got rid of a couple of others. We've signed a young goalkeeper, so we got rid of Velho, who's actually on also high wages, about six grand a week. He's a good, solid goalkeeper. But we've got one, you know, uh, and uh, get rid of the wages. Youssef, who's out on loan last season, he's not a bad player, but he just didn't do it for me. Um, so we sold him 450k. And Sampi, one of our sort of centre-backs, We've got another one in. Again, he was on decent money. He's already said that he was going to consider his options at the end of this year. So I thought, like, okay, 400k. We, you know, oh, the board, by the way, you know, they said they scaled back their investment into the club. They've stopped all it. I've got a message saying they've stopped all investment. Now he's going to continue being the chairman, but there's zero investment. And we are running at quite the deficit this season, this season well, and last season. So, signings. Duarte Bacalau. We got him in. Uh, new left-back option. Can play as the sort of ball-winning midfielder. Can play-ish as a deep-line playmaker as well. So, pretty versatile. Only 19. Very, very happy to get him in. Uh, he's wanted on a couple of clubs on loan, but he's not going out. Then we've got uh, Gonzalez. Ricardo Gonzalez from Tondela is our new right-winger option. Pretty pleased with this. He costs a lot of money, right? This is my big signing. Yeah, 11 million. You know, a few instalments. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't don't trouble yourself with the finances. Um, <laughs> well, and you'll see that we're about to get pay pay for that as well. Um, and then we've got Rodrigo Pinero, uh, who is basically our um, backup right back. Oh, sorry, replacement right back. Just a solid all rounder. Nothing exceptionally special, but he's decent going forward. No real weaknesses. No massively good strength, but pretty cheap. So we sort of wiped our face with that. And he's on a little bit of like half the money as well. 
Uh, next up, we've got Bruno Afonso. He's our new set, uh, young goalkeeper. I think he's actually a pretty good goalkeeper. Like, if he had to play a couple of games, I wouldn't be that too bothered. Um, he's not the biggest. Not the biggest. Not the most dominant aerially. Cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, then we've got Zhao Costa in from um, Braga, who we saw before is our new striker. I'm hoping he becomes a better Moreira, who won Young Player of the Year, by the way. Um... Because he is much better than Moreira, I think, at pretty much everything. But I've kept Moreira, obviously. Yeah, he's just, like, slightly improved everywhere. And he's a year younger. So hopefully he's going to do bits. Then we've got Diogo Criros from Spal. Basically a really solid centre-back that can pass the ball a bit as well. A bit more of a ball playing than some of the others, like Sampi and stuff. Um, also in his prime as well. We were getting a bit too on the young side. As much as I want to do youth development, it's important to have a couple of sprinkled in. And then we got, speaking of you, uh, Camilo Vago um, for 150k. Just a bit of a punt, really. He's a bit of a giant child, uh, 18 years old, six foot four, decent at tackling, good bravery. Uh, scouts rate four star potential, which annoys me. But. I think he's pretty decent. So he's just a punt. He's like dirt cheap, no wages, all good. So that's how that's gone so far. But we have another problem. So RB Leipzig came in for 42 million odd pounds. And I was sitting there, decided against it. But then, in a stroke of what can only be called stupidity, the board got another offer for a player. And they said it was just too good to turn down. So obviously it must be more than that, right? It must be like 50 mil plus. No, 2 million. <laughs> right. So uh, Mako, the replacement deep line playmaker, um, got uh, an offer. Of, he's waiting for a work permit for Southampton. One, annoyingly, they'd rather... So they accepted the Southampton offer, which is only 1.4 million up front. Then later on, the Lons came in with a 4.4 million up front. And I couldn't say, look, we need, if you need the money, it's too good to turn down. Surely you'd take the one that's three extra million. Um, because uh, I, can't, I can't see it right now, can I, for some reason? Because he's going for work permit. Basically, it's like 1.4 million now, a couple of installments of 1.4 million, or maybe one installment of 1.4 million, and then a million if he plays once for Portugal, a million if he plays 50 times, that sort of shit. So none of this is, most of this is not guaranteed. So that's really annoying. Um, but it is what it is. So, I mean, Silverio uh, didn't want to come back. Wait, I, they wanted way too much money, uh, which is usual now. So, overall, I'm not sure if we've really improved. I think we've, it's a bit of a sideways. I want, annoyingly, I want to give Keanu a new contract. Right, but his agent keeps locking in a release clause of like seven hundred and fifty grand. If I and I'm like, as soon as I do that, somebody's just going to buy him, aren't they? Because why wouldn't you? So I'm going to wait a little bit longer and just try and keep going in for him, and then go. Mm, no, he still wants it. Okay, I'll wait a few months and go in for him again. Hopefully, get him to re-sign before the end of the season. Today we are playing Valor, who are Icelandic. Now. I think, I think we're going to win this game. I just got a feeling, just got a feeling we're going to win this game. So we should, <laughs> I'm hoping I don't have to show you both legs because I feel like we can win it in the first one. We better win it in the first one. Oh, apparently we're playing a friendly on the same day as, okay, let's cancel that. All right, so Rodriguez, the man, the myth, the legend, is, uh... And obviously I can understand that the reason why it's too good to turn down for a £2 million bid and not too good to turn down for a £42 million is obviously the value that he is. But I feel like if the club was that worried, they'd sell the goalkeeper for £42 million, right? Like, logic would dictate. We are £5 million in debt. We do need European group football. So this is important. Right, let's pick a team. Rodri, we're going full strength here. So we've got Hill and uh, Pinheiro. So he's going in there. Uh, Ibuks has signed a new contract, a new four-year deal for the Bootmeister General. Lovely. 
And then we're going to go with the experience of Krios, which is great. Um, Oliveira will be the main backup. I, I might swap those two around during the season because Oliveira was really solid for me last season. Um, and then at left back, we've got Mikado and we've got uh, Keanu, both of which I was happy with last season, so didn't feel the need to upgrade. Now, this is where it gets interesting because we have many options, none of which were as good as last season. So I'm not going to pick Mako. He's going off. He's leaving. All right, he's dead to me. He's dead to me. Um, we've got this guy, Sequeira, who's a young 18-year-old, came through our youth ranks, and I've promoted him to the senior team. He's actually pretty good. Ignore all the down arrows, okay? It's just a bad vibe. He could be pretty good. Um... And then, obviously, we've got the left-back that can also play there as well. Um, so, Aviedo, Azevedo is kind of there just for depth. Uh, same as Thiago Torres. They're just there now, just to, just in case we have games that don't, nobody cares about. Uh, so, I think Bandera is probably our best option right now for the playmaker role. He actually did all right there last season. Um, and then we've got so, Kera, we've got Darame, one of our centre-backs, who actually I need to give game to him too because he's really good, but can also do it. I'm going to... Um, can Bruno do it? At push. Um, Folha is obviously more attacking. No, he's not going to do it. And we've got... Obviously, Almeida is our first choice now. But let's go full strength. Let's, let's not risk it just because they've got no players. Let's not get too silly about this. Um... So on the left-hand side, it's changed things up. We'll get there in a second. So the right midfielder, Carvalho stayed. Because nobody wanted it. Uh, but we've got Gonsalves. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm going with it. Um, and then you're the backup. And then on the left-hand side, we've got Justino, who I like. Did okay last season. Still developing. Got a couple of goals and assists. Couple of man of the matches. Nothing to write home about. A lot of sub-appearances, to be fair. But we're going to go... Uh, Leu Sek is now going to switch because he's got 15 finishing because essentially he's actually a striker. So he's also left-footed, but that's okay. He can go... They can battle it out, essentially. So it might be a little bit downgrade. Um, we've got Solemon, the Lemons. Uh, the, should I just call him the Lemon? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't bode well for his future at the club. Um, who's also training on that side because he can also do that job. So we've got three players that are unproven in there, but can technically do that. So I'm going to go sec first. I'm going to, he needs to learn the position. And then this will be a good chance for him to get an early goal. So I'm going to, I'm going to give Moreira uh, a fair shout. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, but. I want that guy to get off and running. Okay, so Hill and Mikado's dead. We'll go with uh, the other one, Bacalao. That's definitely a wrong pronunciation, but just, you know, suck it up. Okay, and then you, and then Bruno. Uh, can I have 12 subs in this game? I'm never going to use 12 subs. Uh, and then we'll go for the Lemon. Justino, Moreira. Don't need all those subs. That's crazy talk. All right. So a solid team. Uh, how many Davies? One. Two. Three debuts today. We've got to win this comfortably, right? We've got to. Our preseason was good. Yeah, yeah. Not going to use 12 subs. That's crazy talk. Come on. I should probably use the subs. No. It's just, it's too many. My little brain. All right, I want us to win the, f yes, yes. I don't want to have to show the second leg in a YouTube video because we have not done that well against an Icelandic team that technically doesn't have any players. Right? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, this is at the uh, ground, the, uh, uh, new ground, isn't it? That can only have a maximum of 5,000 people for normal matches. I'm really gutted about Mako. We had so many bids all through the window of like up to about 2 million. And I was just rejecting, rejecting, rejecting. And suddenly, go on, Costa. There we go. Look at the shiny new graphics we've got because of European. I do like that touch in Football Manager. I've got to be honest. 
I like the fact we've we've got some different stuff and it looks a little bit different. It feels different then. Poor defending. Costa rises up, gets a goal within three minutes. Set gets an assist. That's big as well. Right, if we win by two goals, we'll be fine. Uh, tight thigh. You know what? I don't think we need to risk it. Uh... Let's bring the left back allow on. All right, boys. Not the most dominating performance so far. All right, Pinero does well. Go on, Penny. Go on, Penny. Ooh. Good possession. <laughs> Solid possession. Bolha. Yes. Who's your current favourite player? Who have you got a soft spot for in this team? I. It's got Books is up there. Marrera, just because he's a hero. One of them players that's just playing above. And it, and the fact we almost, I almost got rid of him. Almeida, just because solid and it's nice to bring him back to the club where he belongs. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Pinheiro getting involved so far. Yes! Costa Coffee. Get in there. There we go. We still have another qualifying round to go after this. So it's not... It's not done and dusted yet. Right, Pinheiro's getting well involved so far. Gonzalez is doing well as well. All good. Oh, that's a ball. Oh! I like it. Good work from back. I'm not. I'm not feeling the name. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a hat trick. Go on then. Is that a first half hat trick on your debut? Go on then. Go, go on. Go on. More important than the half time team talk is. Uh, Duarte something will come to me something will come right load of complacency on the bench good to see um, let's give you a debut to one of our youth prospects and we'll give you some time on this left hand side as well and I've got Marrera's got to get a goal, isn't he? His first European game for Marrera. Right. I think we're comfortable, lads. Let's just go balanced. Might just. Just chill out on the press. Calm down, lads. Don't get any injuries. Nice. The right backs look really good so far. He's had loads of play. Got involved, made some great runs. Yeoman. Oh, that's a ball. Pinero does well defensively. Poor header from Keanu. Oh dear. There's a bit of space. Oh, he just gets ahead on it. Oh my dangerous! Danger! 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 Casual, that is. He gets a lovely touch on the ball. Look at this. Oh, he gets a toe on it. Quiroz gets a toe on it. And then what's he doing? I was just singing your breath. <laughs> they both had to go. What are you doing, Pinny? It's okay. It's okay. It's a little bit annoying to concede against a greyed out team. Gotta be honest. Tiny bit. And it backs. Ross, the lemon. The Aaron lemon, for those old schoolers. Herrera. Oh, that's a tackle from behind. Is that allowed in Iceland, is it? Gonzalez. Nice. Nice. Okay, left. Left foot. Left foot. 
Reason you're on the right wing there, buddy. Lads? Lads? Oi, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Don't start making it look close. Right, see it out, lads. Right, Kuros. He's had a solid game so far. Keanu. Into Vols. Sacrera. Bacalao. Quiros. Ooh, little mazy dribble. A bit of Joel Matip action there. Volha. He's off. He's off. Mero's off. A bit eager. It's a good finish. Uh, got one sub left. Let's get Books off. Let's get Books off. He's done his job. Defended well for the most part. Got himself a goal. Oh, look at that calm. Calmness. Bex. Well, that's nice. Moreira. Yes! Come on! First European goal for Moreira. It's got sort of Harry Owen vibes, but like a better version of Harry Owen, isn't it? There we go. Outstretched arms. We need the money. Look, you don't even have a team. You've got to pay like two players, right? We've got to actually pay players look quite a quarter of a mil a month, right? Okay. Da, 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 da. Yep. That's fine. Debut hat trick. Go on then, mate. Did a little dribble as well. Well done, mate. Yeah, because look, how much are they paying their players? Jesus, he's quite high paid, isn't he? Daniel Bream. I like when they get really like occasional really good regen that's just in their team. Yeah, so they're paying 1700 right? We've got bills to pay. Okay, I think it's safe to say we'll be fine. If it's if something really bad happens, then I'll stop midway through the match and bring you back, okay, for the next episode. But I'm confident. We can do it. I don't know. The next round has been drawn. Where do I see that? The, oh, there's so many qualifiers. Okay, so it's either Mladost Gat or Dun Streda. We've got a cheeky Serbian. Okay, like them. <laughs> two of them all in Italy. Okay. Well, pay him a lot of wages. Um, or... Where is it? Uh, third qualifying round. Dunstreda, a Slovakian. With a couple of players. Oh my god, this was on four and a half. Four, oh, he's not bad. Four thousand. <laughs> Imagine if that's their budget and they were just like, let's just get one really good player. We'll fill in the blanks. Right, we should be fine. Right, there we go, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. When you get back next episode... Mako will be gone, which is incredibly annoying. Uh, but it will help pay some of the bills for a bit. We are... I bet the projection is terrible, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's check the... Six away fans. Six fans have travelled from Iceland to Portugal. Respect it. 4,700 attendants. So we're paying rent for this place. We're paying rent... Of 250 grand a year, so we can have a smaller stadium than we did already. Great. Right. See you next time. Bye-bye.